It's nice to see so many early morning coming here to cast the vote and I want uh, as many people from South Bengaluru to come out and cast their vote. I think uh, it's clear people want stable government, they want good policies, progress and development and for that sake today people are coming out and they do want to see Prime Minister Modi continuing his tenure. I think uh, because they have no issue on their own in order to say this is what we'll do for the people of India, take India forward, bring opportunities for the youth, uh, take India in a global leadership role. They have none uh, of these positive agendas to speak about. So they're constantly hitting at Prime Minister, they're doing personal attack, and even worse, they're bringing in things which they themselves cannot implement. So as a part of this narrative is this whole property tax Ma business. My last uh, it directly hits the middle class. It directly hits the aspirational class. They work hard. Sweat and toil of theirs is saved in small savings here and there. Or they buy a house, a dream house, and keep some fixed deposits. All this is going to be exposed to the so-called uh, property tax. After all, Congress's reputation in terms of uh, property tax goes back, and I remember earlier in 1968, there was a compulsory deposit scheme where people's deposits were all 18%, 20%, something was taken away. There was no justification given. At that time, they would say, oh, recently we had a war, India doesn't have money. Later on, if you see the way in which they have clearly aimed at targeting people who are wealth creators for this country. They work hard, they create money, they uh, create value, they employ people, and therefore India's economy becomes buoyant. If such wealth creators are going to be punished purely because they have some money kept behind, India's progress in the last 10 years would just go for a zero, and we'll probably be going back to that era when Congress imposed 90% tax You'll probably not believe in the current generation wouldn't even remember or know anything about it. There was India when, under the Congress rule, we paid 90% of all that was earned by us as tax. That's the socialist model which the Congress party is comfortable with. But I'm sure their own properties, when transferred from the grandmother to the grandchildren or the father to children, were excluded from all this property tax. So this is a clear ploy that they'll safeguard their own interests. But I'm sorry, people of India will have to keep giving away the earnings from their sweat and toil. Absolutely convoluted. And this cannot be supported. <laughs>